Salutations, my friends. I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for rejoining me here in CK3, playing as that beautiful, beautiful Ireland. So last time we completed our conquest of Ireland, and now we begin preparing for the future some more. But, like I said earlier, we will probably begin to maybe imprison somebody, probably not, but begin to convert to normal Catholicism in the world. Because we said, or at least I said, once we completed the Isles, maybe we shall uh, convert to Catholicism, because that sounds like fun, even though Polician... Seems to be getting some strong portions in what we now know as Italy or southern France and Switzerland. And Mandian? Huh. We have an, ex an, an active election in Ireland as well. Huh. My son and heir. Heir to Kingdom of Ireland. Now, I'll be honest here. I'm not exactly sure how things work when I die. Especially with this election here. Tanistry electives. The rule in all vassals of one and two ranks below the title can nominate an heir. Vassals who tend to favor older, distant relatives over close family. I'm not exactly how, how it's going to work. If he gets elected, how do the, all my titles go to... I know all my titles won't go to him, which is going to be a pain in the butt. But I'm not exactly sure how that works, because he's 53. We've got to start thinking about stuff like that. Um, regardless, let's go ahead and go to the faith button. And I said we do this, so... Or Abrahamic Christianity, very cool. Holy sites, great new Christian faith, that'd be kind of cool, but mm, we're kind of okay. Uh, the faiths, Catholicism, we could become Coptic. Actually, we could become Jewish if we really want to. Jewish, Jewish, Irish folk. That'd be kind of interesting, but you know what? We said we would. They consider us astray. And this way we can spend some piety for some Pope money, eventually so. Uh, male preference, cool. If we become that, we like righteousness. Lustful, gluttonous, deceitful, sadistic, and vengeful are not good. While chaste, temperate, honest, compassionate, and forgiving. Let's convert to the faith. And it looks like six out of seven of my vassals will convert. That's good. It's going to cost us some piety. Uh, that is fine with me. Yeah, it's piety. Not bad. And Duke. Oh, well, he doesn't like us, so. Uh, that's okay. Let's convert. There we go. Someone endorses us. Pending Crusade participation. You neither don't need a gold nor pledge your armies to the upcoming crusade. Well, we'll see what happens. And let's go ahead and do this as well. Let us convert. Uh, well, maybe not get a claim yet. Eventually, but... uh. Let's make sure that we're okay. Let's do Konak first. And in this episode, I still want to make sure that we are, will set, up, set ourselves up for a very good time in the future. And by that, uh, I mean, like, build up our armed arm forces here. Ooh. The energy is way... Ooh. He's been swayed. Very cool. So we have some armed footmen. We've got some bowmen. Eventually, I'm not yet... I want to make maybe one more building first to get a little bit more money first. And then do another one. I will choose mangonels over onagers just because it's double their output. So, that's actually better. Arm footmen. I'm going to grab some more arm footmen as well. That is some good stuff. They are they are countered by light footmen, which is countered by bowmen, like we established last time. So, we get more bowmen, get some more arm footmen, and then I'm probably going to... Oh, maybe get some light cavalry. That might be good to get as well. It's always good to run uh, run people down, I suppose, as long as you don't get caught. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's going to cost a lot. I really want to do this stuff. Army units goes down. That's really not bad. More knights and that effectiveness. We finished our task. Very cool. Uh, that's really nice. Arms at men. Men at arms. Maintenance goes down by 6% and 10% more pursuit damage for light cavalry stuff. All your holdings in the duchy. Holding taxes plus 10% sounds really good. I like this. Leisure palaces to get more monthly prestige. It's nice. Less stress loss. Or actually more stress loss. More control. That's not bad. Come over here. Let's continue increasing control and Leinster. And I also, I wish I had more money. I really wish I did. Just because I need to create the... Oh, I can ask... Head of faith. You, oh. I got the money, man. Well, we're going to use this wealth wisely. We spent some piety. Whatever. I want to create the Duchy of Leinster just so that when I die, I can give it to my heir and he'll be okay, hopefully. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, the new Marshall Park. Even though at this point, Marshall's okay. I wish we had something else since we're done fighting for now. But we'll see what happens. Peace acceptance. That's not bad. Engineer for destruction. Not bad. Organized march. Mo more movement speed, which can be great. More screen. That could be really good. Parthian tactics. Well, we're not really Parthian here, but that's okay. Not bad. Counter efficiency plus 25%. Retreat losses is less. Heavy infantry damage plus 15%. And toughness. Good lord, that sounds really strong. Strategist, respect and loyalty. And didn't our wife cheat on us last time, I think? Uh, you know what? I want to go with this so we get more damage from our heavy infantry because we're using. I'm going to really emphasize infantry in this campaign so far. Air and line inherit titles for the duchy. Current holder? Oh, that's my son, isn't he? Yeah, I gave my son some stuff. All my sons. Uh, where's this person? Foreign ruler. We have six allies. 
Oh, we're similar? No, I think I'm okay then. Because right now... Oh, the Isles are not looking good. Uh, we have no Castus Bella against them. Offer to request claim? Uh, no. Okay then, well, whatever. What's going on here? So, they're fighting for... Against the Fatimat Sultanate. For probably, what, Jerusalem or something? Kingdom of Jerusalem, over here. Inheritance! You've in received... Inherited the county of Do Konak from... Oh. What happened? Oh, hold on, I want to get rid of this. And to get rid of that, you press... You right-click on it. My son? You no longer have an alliance with him? Because he is no longer... What happened? Army of Dublin. Okay. Uh, did my son die or something? What happened? Oh, what's going on? Maybe it was usurped. Maybe it was usurped. Maybe that was what happened. Which is not good. And actually, well, I love making... Oh, we actually got a lot of money here. Hmm. You get more domain taxes. I want more development as well. Because development can be really good for, like, I think learning technologies and stuff like that. So that's not too bad. Advanced tooltips, county control. Uh, I don't really care about that. Culture? Oh, uh, sure. Culture. Characters who share a culture also have a slightly increased opinion of one another. We believe or belong to the Goidelic culture group, which contains cultures most closely related to Irish without being Irish. Okay, cool. And this is our culture stuff, so innovations are various inventions and adaptations the cultures has adopted. Uh, coinage is easy to grasp. It takes time for people to completely adopt the use of currency. Uh, it provides new bonuses and stuff like that. They are unlocked over time, but, we, but can progress faster if a neighboring culture has already unlocked them. Interesting. Innovation can progress faster without being the culture's fascination. Fascination is set by the culture head, the most powerful ruler of that nation, which we're doing battlements right now. So that's pretty good for defending stuff. And less army maintenance, so that's good. Oh, Irish and Gaelic? Oh, this is a culture map mode. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. Houses? Brian? Brian? I don't know. I'm not Irish at all, but that's cool. Estrid? Stenkilling? Estrid? Von Reinfelden? Cap Capet? Capet? Jimena? Actually, I tried to Spain out before as well. That's actually really fun. If you play as Leon, the Kingdom of Leon, it's really fun. Uh, cool, but we don't need to see that for now. Most Chad comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. Uh, this happens all the time, so we're just going to go say they grow up fast. So, one of my sons has become an adult. What can we do here? The duchy. Uh, I want to spend my money making more things first before I actually do that. Actually, we can upgrade some of this stuff. 3% more development growth. 0.2 more is okay. Ooh, what is this? 0.2 more. This county and construction cost goes even lower. 0.2, 0.4. That's only 0.2 more. That's really not worth it. Uh, I really want to do this. But that men-at-arms, that looks pretty good. Ooh, all your holdings in this duchy. Plus 10% more taxes. 10%, that's basically just 0.3 more. Which is... Mm, mm, not that great. Anything else around... Oh, our city could be useful. They could upgrade it to 0.6 more. That's not bad. 0.6 more is not bad. Kind of expensive. Uh, this holding, get more taxes, more taxes, uh, not much here. What about the church? Oh, we've already maxed out the church, maybe? 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5, that's not worth it. 0. 0.5 goes up to 0. 0.7, that's only 0. 0.2 more. 0. 0.4 goes up to 0. 0.5, that's like nothing. And we can construct a new holding, but we're not going to do that. So, okay then. <sighs> Big disappointment. Uh, let's see. This could help us actually save money in the long term. Is it really worth upgrading? I mean, if we play it, like, for super long, then yes. But for now, I want to say no. Ah. <sighs> And I want to focus on money. I need more money. Actually, arms maintenance goes down by 6%, 6%, 6%. Damage and toughness. This actually might be best to do. Yeah. Oh, tax offices. I like taxes. Hmm. Actually, can I upgrade a fort level 0.3? You know what? It's probably not worth it. But what if I just save money to upgrade this to 1.4? Let's save up our money. 0.6 more? And taxes is nothing to scoff at. Oh, my son, we usually read this, but Albo Fledas presents me with a perfect little son. Be, may you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Great, great. So we're going to upgrade the city. And then after that, we're going to focus on expanding our army again. Because we can always use more. The challenge! I'm sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat bending on its bedding on my forehead, and when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched, looking over my so shoulder, I spot my marshal, Hutra, who waves at me, I walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while, trading tricks and device. Just I'm about to leave for another round, Hutra's face lights up and he suggests we practice together. Challenge accepted. We win the duel, or he wins the duel, and I get experience. I'd rather not. Uh, challenge accepted. 
An axe in my throat. The sound of malice clashing against axes echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are upon us. Everyone wants to see their high knight or high king fighting his marshal. I must be tired from my previous practice because I move sluggishly, unable to keep up with my opponent. When I learn she's already gone and my parries come at the very last moment, it is not long before I find myself on the ground before him. I yield. Well fought. More opinion. Martial experience. Only coward surrender. Um, no. Uh, well fought. Well, he's a thick guy. Wow. Murchad. Wait, why is he... Uh, what? Wait, what are you doing? Earl of Dublin? I mean, he can have this. He's not my heir, is he? No, he's not. So he can have this. Uh, actually, that's going to lower my money. Uh, no, he can't have that. <laughs> not even giving it to my own son. Appoint his court... Uh, I don't know about that. Does not request excommunication. Uh, let's go ahead and educate him. How old is he? Oh, he's 16. Oh, never mind. He's not going to be educated. He's going to educate people. Uh, let's see... Grant... No, if it, if, it, if it keeps him here, I guess. We lost some money, but whatever. Who are going to ally with? Can I... We kind of like you, but you're probably... Yeah, I think we already saw that, that he's pretty strong. He's pretty similar to us. Who is this? Argyle? Orange marriage? No. What if I want to go to war with you? Let's see. Holy War for Duchy? He's inferior, but he does have two allies, including these two, which don't seem super strong. And we do have some allies ourselves, so... I think it's best to wait to see. Denmark? I do not want to fight Denmark. Jesus Christ, that looks pretty bad. Ah, she's pregnant again. Is there anywhere else I can expand? Maybe Brittany? Uh, he's... Temptation focused. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, Lapland's down here, too. Foreign ruler. War for the Duchy. He's similar. All these people are very similar. Lisbo? Emirate, huh? Oh, okay. Well, probably Lisbon. Martial experience. Cool, cool, cool. Hit and run. Yes, please. Popular resistance conversion. So we get, oh, the Byzantines are down there. Okay, Sicily. Tuscany, Italy looks like, it looks like it's been broken up. My daughter, great. Uh, Eleonora, very cool. Yeah, seriously. Um, I yeah, I can't really go to war with them. The em I don't want to go to war with the emperor, man. Am I swinging anybody? Why are people fighting each other here? What are y'all doing? No prisoners. Oh, we got enough money. Let's go ahead and pay for the little upgrade because we lost some money earlier. Oh wait, we want to upgrade the city. Because honestly, from my understanding of how to play this game. CK3. Just because you have higher numbers doesn't mean they're good. You want... Oh, we can go to war. Oh, yeah, that's true. We want to go to war. You want to have better quality soldiers. Quality matters so much. No, we're not going to do that. Increase opinion? Sure. Ask your head of faith for more money? I am a greedy person. Yay. It loses that, but whatever. I don't really care. Prince Merchad. He is my son and vassal. He's got quite the beard. I... Oh, my half-sister? You want to marry my half sister? Uh, Avon Tyrol. Let's see Alliance Power. Zaring. Uh, that's not bad. Evero. She's 36. She's the courtier of someone. Daughter of Duke. That's not bad. Let's see. Daughter of Duke from. She's Dutch. That's not. Bad. That's not bad either. She's a little young, but 12 year olds is not bad. Yeah, let's go do that. 12 is the perfect age. So, while studying the tactics of the ancient journals, I was inspired when I learned about the Constantine's victory at the Battle of Melvian Bridge. The night before the battle, Constantine dreamed that victory would be granted if he painted Chai Ro, a symbol of Christ, on the soldier's shield. He did exactly that, and the next day he overran his forces of the usurper Maxentius, who fell into the Tiber River and drowned. The wicked are no match for God's armies. Logically speaking, flexible tactics won that battle. And tricks of boss morale aren't enough to win war. Uh, oh, holy warrior, why not? Ah, betrothal. Cruel. We are an adulterer. Uh, no, no, we're not, but this, that person is. Overseer. Holy war. Cool. Oh, uh, and who is this? Fjakna comes of age. It's our son. Oh, what is this? Betrothal can marry? Go right ahead. Oh, what the heck? Inheritable traits. Great pox. Oh my gosh. How old is she? 27? Oh, Schneike's guest. Ooh. I don't know about that, man. She's only guest. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, how do I... How do I send this? How do I say no? Hmm, claim title, break patrol. Uh, oh. 
It's my son and vassal. And all she is is a guest, so whatever. Yeah, I, small. I'm, I'm saving you, son. I'm saving you, man. You gotta, you gotta trust me when I say you don't want the pox. I don't have it myself, but come on, man. Duke, uh, French. That's not bad. He's young enough that he can wait to get married to her. And she's the daughter of a duke, so. Active election. You can lawfully imprison this person, but we're not going to. Excellente. We got more money. Let's go ahead and get another army group here. Size 1 out of 8. That's not bad. I might just get another one, but let's go ahead and get a thing of... Oh, this would be good to get. I want horses. I really want horses just so we can mow down people if we need to. They're not good in wetlands, desert mountains, hills. But they're good in drylands and plains, so... There you go. There we go. Nice. Only 4.3. Our hook has expired, so be it. Ooh, task is finished. Nice. We increase control. Let's continue doing that. And Desmond. Very, 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 very good. Uh, we can fabricate claims. We can't integrate anything. That's fine. Get more money for now. Uh, he's been swayed. Cool. We have another daughter. Finiac. Ah, I can't wait, wait to marry you off. Um, there's really no one for me to take out. Maybe Navara, but he's probably allied with a people... Anastasius? Uh, you know what? What I can I claim down here? I didn't take. It'll take a while, so I think it might be best to wait for now. Lessons from the past, though I will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker. My library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I've, I've, I have recently acquired a tomb on the great battle of the Catalonian plains, as well as a time-worn scroll within some ancient language. Who knows what forgotten secrets it holds? Read the newer tomb. Cool. Yeah, totally. All right, Scotland. You're looking kind of. Problematic. Oh, Petty Kingdom over here. Allied to oh, the Red Shanks. So. I need to cast this Bell Eye, but I gotta stop converting places. My knight did. No. Oh. oh. I've exposed. Um. I could blackmail him. Just miss him. No, we're, we're kind of good for now. Alright, well, whatever. Spell scroll funder. To nurturing relationships between the next generation of rulers is a duty we should not neglect, says High Queen Albofleda. Some of your more influential vassals have children that I am certain Prince Morand would benefit from knowing. Ah, Vigilek? Cool. Who is this? A son of Earl Olaf, which is Irish, us. Well, Dalkan would probably be a good influence. And he is Irish as well. Uh, might do fine on his own. No. Let's be friends. It's always good to be friend friendly until we have to uh, get rid of people, but, you know, whatever. An attempt of my life, I was running through the streets of Lumniak when a mob of screaming and shouting peasants descended on my retinue. Thankfully, my guards did not hesitate to cut start cutting them down left and right while I made my way back to the castle. This was undoubtedly the work of my, uh, the abhorrent spun of hell, Earl Conkobar. Oh, you atheist. I will make him regret this. This is your opinion. I can rightfully imprison him. Now, where is he? Uh, look if I get more knights. Do we want more knights? Uh, how many do I have? I don't know. Oh, we could revoke false conversion. Reconvert your own faith. Now we could go on a pilgrimage. Oh, we could probably do that, but I still want more money, though. Intrigue. Sway this guy. Hooks and secrets. Who is the person that we that hates me? Uh, let's see. see. Oh, Gilo Rao comes of age. My son is now a guy. They grow fast. Here, anything? No, I don't see him. Prisoners? No. Oh, how about in my realm? There we go. Minus 18, huh? Ah. Is this the person I can phrase? No. Huh. Task finished? Cool, we got more control. This is going to take so long to convert these people. Base. So, fervor. Instant Christianity. Pastoral isolation from development. Oh, man, that's not good. That takes so long to do. It's kind of okay, though. We don't have... Oh. We don't have a lot to do. I need to cast this bell eye. They're similar as well over there. Oh. If I go to... I can't go to war with them because I have nothing over there. What can we also we do? First in line. Oh, you can get married? Well, let's look at Alliance Power. She is Dutch, and she is the daughter of Countess Eidel. It's a vassal. She's an atheist. Daughter, daughter. This kid, this woman has a lot of kids. Courier, courtier. My get married to my granddaughter. That seems a little incestual. Daughter of Earl. 
Uh, she's Anglo-Saxon French. Liege is that. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Ooh, how about over here? De Beaumont. Normand. Courtier. She's courtier. Courtier. Uh, 43 is too old. 8 is not too old, which sounds really bad out of context. Daughter of Count, Countess, Baroness. There's really not much else around here. Hmm. No, that's not worth it. De Beaumont. De Beaumont. Uh, yeah, let's do that one if we can. She is 20. What? Well, we'll go with that. Hey, new perk. Cancer. <gasps> a strange inside. There's a thing inside me which is not me. It eats way through my flesh, feeding up my life force. Its strength increasing while I wither away. I push my hand against my growth, the growth underneath my skin. My fingers aching to tear it out. The thought of it growing makes me want to puke. Send for a physician, physician now. Uh, against this enemy, there can be, be no victor. Oh, crap. That is not good. I'll get a war. But clean. Mao. Maud. Uh, you want what title? Which title is this? Oh crap, that is a bit risky, not gonna lie, that's a bit risky. Um, this person can marry, of course, again. There's really not much here. Oh, wait, we already, we already did this, didn't we? Declare wars, marry. A guardian? Yes, that would be good. Chancellor Knight, yes, we trust him. Active, duty election, anything else here? I, we are dying, which is not good. Really not ideal. Naval speed. Let's get this one. It'd be fine. Oh, crap. I don't want to die. I don't have enough money to buy anything else. I don't want to get another military unit. It'll be really, really beneficial. I want to build something more. Uh, where else can I spend some, uh, some more money directly? Do I get... Is that all I own? That must be all I own right here. That's literally the only thing I own. That is not smart for me. <laughs> so where's my heir? My heir is this person, and they are over here? What are you doing over there? Located over here. Heir to the kingdom of... Why are we over here? Oh, you're in the court. You're in another person's court. Well, crap. What is that going to do to me? Uh, I don't want to build up anywhere else. And I can't afford anything else here. I can't upgrade this. Oh, this is not good. Temple, can I upgrade you? No, I cannot. I don't want to lose money. Yes, marriage proposal. Very good. Court physician... Do we have a court physician? Start search. Uh, sure. I don't care what the cost, just save me. Time for treatment! The time has come to treat your cancer. I would recommend drastic measures, but the choice is yours. Do no more what is necessary. Be quick, leave me be. A risky treatment may have great outcomes, but also lead to worsened symptoms or permanent injuries. Just do it. Disfigured? Oh, crap! Coming! Gave me a draught which tasted almost peculiar. It made me feel numb and my eyelids started drooping. I apologize, my lord, but you do not want to be awake for this next part, she said. Panic hit me and I tried to get up from the operating table, but my limbs would not obey. The treatment was almost unpleasant, unpleasant as my symptoms, yet it seems to have been effective. While not fully cured, I feel much better. Okay. I'm wounded and disfigured. Oh, crap. Finally, my servants have found someone who can either be fit to serve my, as my physician. Either way, I cannot fear. I can afford to be very picky now. Uh, both of them. Uh, okay, then. Please don't die. Please don't die, leader. Oh, we finished control again. Good. We're doing really well controlling these areas. So we get more money and taxes and stuff like that. I really want to do that, but I need more money, man. If I die, I want to make sure we leave in... Leave a very good army for whoever is going to come back, because there's going to be a lot of war with what happens next. Go up to level 2. Just spend the money. Yep, I knew I would die. I'm glad I spent that money. You never know. So we played for 20 years. My great king has passed away, but now we're going to continue as a 37-year-old. High King Morand, my son. Ah. Oh. Alright, did I lose anything? No, not really. Right? I have not lost anything. This is our king. We have a new lifestyle, in which we're going to do diplomacy. So earlier we were with Marshall, which our Marshall isn't bad. But now we're going to be very diplomatic. We get 40% more experience in this pathway, in which we get more diplomacy. So this affects what? It represents a character's ability to charm, negotiate, and persuade. It directly affects the opinions of other characters that they have of you. It's also used to further diplomatic schemes, which is not bad. The corresponding lifestyle is diplomatic lifestyle, of course. You get more monthly prestige. What is it currently prestige? Which I don't care about that much. I just want more money as much as possible. So it's 2.6. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Fertility? Mm, that could be good. That could be bad. I think I'm just going to go with foreign affairs focused. Thank you. All right. Next up, nominate a successor. Uh, let's see. Let's go with rank. Number one, Earl. 
Yes. Oh, that person down there doesn't really like us. Our uncle doesn't like us very much. Go to hell with him. Ask ahead of faith for more money. Yes. Thank you. Increase opinion. That is. Yep. That's exactly what we want to do. Earl. Great. Inherit things. Good. For the Duchy of Ulster. What is this? Protecting against schemes. So make sure you. No one can scheme against us. Have a high opinion of you, but most importantly, always keep your spy master loyal, which is good. Having a spy master, spy master with a low opinion of you can be a death sentence. Cool. I understand. Good, good, good. Honestly, not bad. Oh, he likes this. That's good. Oh, and because of that, we get more taxes, which is good. Even though right now we don't get a lot of taxes. So we still have this under us. Do we have anything else under us? No, we just basically lost one available holding. Now, over here, can I go to war with you? Our claims? Vastly inferior. Let's go ahead and give this to our ally in, of Kalnak, even though he doesn't really like us that much. That could be really good. I'd rather have it... Oh, that's got so much prestige. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Uh, is there anyone else we could go to war with that's not nearly as strong? Oh, who's their primary heir? Can I go to war with you? That's still 500. Jesus. I mean, I like his claims and all, but that's so much. That's a bit too much, in my opinion. And, but there's nothing else I can really do up there. It's honestly probably not worth getting that much prestige, but... Especially for someone like this, negotiate an alliance? Actually... Offer vassalage? No, his realm is distant from ours. What about this? Maybe we should start swaying... Him. What? I've never tried the befriend scheme. I won the friendship. Let's try that. Well, once we get that one done. So I, you know what? I want to go to war at least once every episode, maybe. Even though we don't like Earl that much. Let's see what we can do. Level 17 is not bad. Oh, man. We're losing some serious money. Good. And let's see if I can... I can't ransom. Can I execute him? Let's go by you, we get dread, we spend stuff, that's not worth it. Oh, King of Gil of Castile joined the Irish... Oh, boy. Well, that's okay, let's end this war as quickly as possible then. Get down here. Hopefully they don't show up. Patrol of Camary. Sure. Very good, very good. Please don't come to my capital and siege me down. Oh, Sway Infiltrators, it's come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Port Lerga, the capital of my vassal, Earl Olaf. Locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to per of his perception of me. There's money, Sway scheme, mmm, fine. Oh boy, this is not good. Not ideal, not ideal. You know what, if that's the case, I'm going to call people to help me out then. If I can. A sign, that's good. Uh, let's come up here. High Queen Hulls. Oh, we can't. Wait, so who's Castile? They're fighting me. Like, seriously, are you kidding me? It looks like we're going to lose the battle, so just go and leave. Go and leave. Renew Jihad. The, on the House of Islam is under great threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in its very heartlands. In response, his magnificent Caliph and Thinos has declared that an era of renewed Jihad is upon the world. The core regions of the Dar al Islam must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim faithful should prepare to join the ranks of the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. Uh, this could be the beginning of unprecedented Muslim aggression. St. George protect us all. Well, good luck. That is dumb. He just came up here with... What did he come up with? Four knights, some skirmishers, and levies. Heresy. Priscillianist in Galicia. Duke Zog Zoan of Galicia has announced to the world that he and his vassals are converted to Priscillianism. Having been disillusioned with the teachings of the Catholic priests, the nobles of Galicia no longer consider the clergy to be the righteous and true. As Priscillianists, they believe their new faith properly aligns with the will of the deity, and they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. Oh, uh, well, good luck with that. Let's come on back here and reform ourselves a little bit. That really sucks. But it goes to show you that I am not perfect at this game. Uh, you know what? I might just offer white piece. I spend 50. You know, I don't think I can beat Castile. I just don't think I can. They're really strong. They're incredibly strong. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's 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 almost too strong for me. That's why I didn't want to really get involved in the war, but... <sighs> that's so stupid. 
A scheme in court. My spy master is coming to meet with meet me with great news. While we do not know yet who, someone's plotting to kill me. Oh boy. Kind of waiting to see if they're going to come invade my island. Uh, you know what? That might be best. We've had this now. <sighs> yeah, calling a castle is a dick move against me. You know what? I'd rather do this. I lose a couple prestige, but you know what? I'd rather just wait it out. Sometimes you got to know when to not do things. Over extension. Oh, Olaf was swayed to negotiate alliances. People of I. He's not that strong, no. Of Ireland? He's not that strong either. Increase opinion? Uh, we're kind of okay for now. Declare wars. Yeah, no, no. Of Lapland. For county? They're similar. Now we're gonna wait. We gotta. We just have to build ourselves up. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, to the amicable High King Morand of Ireland, I invite you to a feast. Of course, we will go to the feast. Every guest is gathered in the great hall, and our gracious host, High Queen Hawes, has welcomed us all to the feast. Very good. The dilemma. The feast is dwindling down. I find myself deep in conversation with my charming wife, High Queen Hawes. She inquires me about the opinion on court politics, a subject she is deeply interested in herself. Um, growing closer friendship? Sure. The feast is all over my new shirt, though. We could all tell Queen Holly said too much to drink, even though she insisted on showing us how sober she was. Simply rising from her seat proved too much for her, and now I'm covered in stinking vomit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Ha, what a show you put on. You spend prestige. She spends prestige. Cool. And a feast with a friend. It is such a joy to see my wife, the Queen, once we eat, drink, and sing together, as if no time has passed since we par last parted. Do you not see each other every day? We could have been dining in a barn, and this would have still been one of the greatest feats I've ever been to. I mean, what would life would be without Hayes or Haas? And returning home. What a feast! I'll remember the days spent in my wife's halls for a long time to come. Now it's time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine, and once again resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Cool. Yeah, there's not. Oh, I can. Cool, I can imprison somebody. Deaf diplomacy. My Chancellor Cormac has worked hard at convincing our neighbors' realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with the prince. Berthwalt of de Hoibart is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. I am once again free to declare war upon him as soon as I want to. Cool. Justice. And we've uh, apprehended the person in which I just want to take their money. The queen is pregnant. Oh, good. Can I ransom you? It's only ten. So be it. Okay. I just want money, man. Who are you? Oswald? I'll take the weak hook on you. That's fine. So we're only getting five a month, which kind of sucks. And there's not much I can do. I try to go to war with these guys. They're allied with Castile, which is stupid. Prematurely, the child was meant to me. My wife hides and shoots me as the weight of her life. But her hand leans on her belly. Oh, she's no longer pregnant. Oh, that sucks, man. Available perks? Cool. Oh, uh, let's see. Opinion gained from that. Sound found foundations. Each living child gains one random skill point. Patriarch does not seem bad. Let's see. Over firm hand. Monthly prestige per dread. Sway scheme power. Monthly stuff. Ex offer vacillation acceptance plus 25. Commission epic, level of fame impact. Diplomacy per level of fame. That's not bad. Let's go with this. I want to get patriarch. Nice. Hopefully the children will do fairly well. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? Not really. I just, we just need more money, man. Greetings, my leash. Invite you to a feast. Great. I look forward to this. Uh, let's see, what did I promise last night? I cannot remember what led to up to it, but I remember slapping the back of my vassal, Lord Mayor Soma Harold, telling him I would do anything he asked of me. No rumors of the oath, I swore. A promise is a promise. Fine. God dang it. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my vassal, Lord Mayor Soma Harold, goes on and on about theological treatises. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not bothering, boring you, my lord? No, please, please go on. Please go on. You know, why don't we talk more about you instead? Ah, uh, more opinion, that's fine. And what a feast. I remember the days spent with some hair's souls for a long time to come. Now it's time to wash off these traces of merriment and wine, and once again resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Great, we lose stress. I don't think we really have that much stress to begin with anyways, but that's okay. Welsh culture... Oh. Gwynedd. Uh, who are they allied with? Can I fight that person? Can I actually get rid of this person? I just want to, I want to do well. We spent all that prestige for nothing. That was so bad of me. Ah, oh, but you know what? I'm learning this game still. Wait, Denmark is... Oh, Norway, hello. Hello, Norway. Led by 32-year-old, huh? Issues. Increased opinion. Uh, 
No, I think we're okay. So tipped on my life. I throw away my covers the moment I feel something brush against my leg, but if the swift moment only agitates the spider. The spider moves swiftly and strikes. The venom's the spider's venom spread, spread through the burning sensation through my body, but I called for the physician at once. It was a painful endeavor, but as the sun rose, the pain of the poison was let, finally letting go. This was undoubtedly the work of that reclusive boar, Earl of Bloodin. I will make him regret it. Uh, imprison him. He's a hook. 30% chance. Earl, you are done. Um, I imprison him. If you fail to him, he'll rise up. He's not that strong. I'm gonna imprison him. You can rebel against me all you like, but you're not gonna try to kill me off, you piece of crap. I might lose a war here and there, but you're gonna be under me, whether you like it or not. Uh, whoops. Right click to back up. More control over Dublin. Or Dublin. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Time to take you out and take, teach you a lesson. Yeah. Or oh, Olaf Swade. Pretty good. Take him out. Alright, so we're probably done swaying that person. Uh, the Queen of England? Uh, can I offer to join war? Who are they fighting? French du jour war. Oh, oh, shnikes! What happened to France? Aquitaine has gotten thick. Uh, I'm going to start to see. Befriend, sed seduce. Make her my lover. Romance. Gain prestige. Improving their opinion of you and possibly becoming soulmates. This is probably going to backfire on us, but let's try it anyways. 50% chance you gain prestige and she may become your soulmate. Um, Dude, that looks... Honestly, let's try it. Spouse is a 16-year-old boy. Okay. Romance declaration of love. The time has come to let my feelings towards Queen Mal be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. Sing a love ballad? Secretly plan a letter in her chambers. Impress her by winning a sparring match. Go with my gut in the moment. Plant a letter. This is probably not a really good thing to do. So my declaration of love is for Queen Mal's eyes only. No one else matters. I pour my heart out page after page. My feelings grow as I finally put them into words. The ink is barely left dry as I sit out for Mal's chambers. I gently place a scroll on her bolster. Will she lay here tonight dreaming of me? Oh god. The waiting is unbearable. The thought of her rejection makes me sick to my stomach with her reply. When her reply arrives, I tear the seal with shaking hands. While I cannot encourage you, my liege, I am most grateful for your kind words. You're faithfully Maud. She won't resist my tr charms for long. Oh god. Oh, good lord. Where are they going? You can't even- you don't even have enough soldiers to do that. Okay. Social manipulation. This is a thick marshal. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought, but my marshal, Hurta, has grown bolder. He challenges are no longer pass unnoticed at the court council table. He's testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. How dare you challenge your high king, marshal? How dare you? All right, patriarch, in which patriarch gives us more fertility, less stress, more stress loss, close family opinion, and better house opinion. Cool. I'm a very fertile king, which sounds really bad, but whatever. All right, we won, and we're gonna enforce our demands. I imprison him. Great. You piece of garbage! How dare you make me waste money on stuff like this? All right, so this guy, I can't revoke title. Make her tyranny. Uh. Negotiate release, renounce claims, loses all claims on here. Lose he loses all of his claims, which is good. I'm gonna banish him. No. We cook? No. Good. Can I strip him of his stuff? I cannot do that. I need to have mo more crown authority, which Oh. Okay, there we go. I have more crown authority now. Give me your crap. He will rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled people. Oh, I might do that. Maybe next time, though. Uh, actually, it wouldn't be bad to get. Clear wars. I can change a contract. Second in line. Let's see. Mm hmm. Sanctioned. Can you clear war force partition? Protected. Uh, give me more money, maybe. Point three. Levies. That's really not worth it. Eh, that's okay. Uh, I want to romance. I want to see what happens. Hey, my wife's pregnant again. Just don't let her figure out that I'm trying to romance the Queen of England. It is what it is. This is for purely political reasons. He cannot be fired for 25. God dang, that's a long time. 25 years. 
So, my last chance, Beatrice has decided that her last time in Lumiak has come to an end. The servants have packed her chest and she has said her farewells. With Beatrice goes her claim on the county of Guinness. If I want to press it and make her my vassal, this is my chance, last chance to do so. Oh, who owns this? She is inferior, but we just can't afford it, so may her journey be swift and safe. Yeah, there's not really much we can do about that. My apologies, there's just really not much we can do. What's in a name? With the babe cradled in her arms, queen. My queen wipes tears from her cheeks and dresses me without taking her eyes off our son. My love, perhaps we should name him Owain after your serene acquiescence. Owain it is. Uh, sure. Why not? Cool. I just wish we could make more money. I need more. We need more money, man. I mean, holy cow. If that's the case, ooh, why am I zooming out? You know what? I'll probably go with this. All of my holdings, 10%. I mean, it's 10%. I said 2.49. That's two and a half more. But with all the holdings here... It'll be a little bit more than that, but a new claimant. Of all the buffoonery I've seen, in the Lord Mayor's Solomon Harrow's innate efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing Chancellor has officially analogued Sheen Shaw's claim to the Earldom of Ulster. Oh, crap. Who the heck are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. You're supposed to make me friends, not enemies. Now I can't even fire you. Chancellor. How dare you. But I think that'll end today's episode once we do cancer. Oh, crap, not again. There's something inside me, which is not me. It eats away through my flesh. We were with us earlier. Send for a physician now. But we'll end that here. It is January 6, 11, 14. So hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. It wasn't too bad, but uh, we are trying to develop ourselves more and more. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, if you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will attempt to search for more ways to explore, have a good time, and not get taken out. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.